Hello everybody, my name is Hope and welcome back to my channel. I like musicals, though the past of my life and today we're going to be doing the second part to my Back to the Future reaction video. Now in the first video I only reacted to the first act because a soundtrack is long but today I'm reacting to the second part and you're thinking oh could you not think of something more interesting to do? Well in truth when you're watching this, if you're watching this when it comes out, I'm not here. I'm in my new house which I mentioned in my last video about why I have a new house because this one ain't rich. They cannot afford a house all on their own but they can do it as a student. But I'm going to be reacting to the second half of the Back to the Future musical album. I had a good time last time having listen to it since no is it my favorite also no but it's a good album so let's see if they can keep that up or sway me further so without further ado let's get into it but before I get into this video, remember that you can like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get notified every time I upload, which is particularly every Sunday, but sometimes extra days in the week as well. Apparently, over 90% of my viewership is not actually subscribed. So what are you doing? Subscribe right now. I'm just joking, you don't have to do that. But also remember, you can follow me on all my social medias, which is X, Hope Wilson X on Instagram, Hope Wilson with two ends and an underscore on Twitter, and Hope Wilson 45 on TikTok. But with all that, let's get back into the video. Why does this low-key sound like the beginning to like a cheerleading track? I mean, I love cheerleading tracks, but I'm just saying, Skrillex up in the house. I sound like one of those parents who's trying to be down with the kids. I mean, I'm a legal adult now, but I'm still not down with the kids. It's giving me a bit of like hopeful Adam's family. Like if Adam's family was like positive, which I like, it's very cool that they're, they're building up. This song is called The 21st Century, by the way. I know I shouldn't compare things to other things, but like Starkid vibes, not necessarily the vocal line, but like that underscoring is very Starkid. I think I may have heard this song before, just vaguely in some capacity. I'm not in love with this chorus. I think it's a bit samey. I feel like it's fine. I'm not against it. Also, what is the context of the song? Is he like telling all these people from the 80s this is all the stuff that's gonna happen even though it's like not true? Ignore what I just said because the song's called 21st Century and I'm thinking, yeah, the show's set in the 21st century. No, it's not. It's set in like the 80s. I'm just an idiot. What is with the Skrillex? Like, then sound like the weakest link, like a video game. What is going on? I'm confused. Like, sounds like a Wii game where you like, <laughs> literally like a Wii game. Or like, just dance. I feel like this is probably meant to be like this really cool dance section, but when you're listening to it, it just sounds like somebody's playing a video game. And it is a bit repetitive, so, sorry. I'm sorry, but that dialogue was so bait. If you're watching the show, you would know exactly that song was gonna happen at that exact moment. I don't mind this song though. It's a bit like, like rock and roll blues, kind of. I am noticing though it is very Marty led, which you know makes sense, but I'd like to hear a couple of other people. Okay, but he sounded so much like Will Connolly for a second there. If you don't know who Will Connolly is, is the original Jeremy in Be More Chill. I'm finding that this song is also quite repetitive, like I like a bit of variety in there. That's just me personally. This song is called For The Dreamers and this is the most For The Dreamers opening to a musical song ever. Like if someone were to write a song called For The Dreamers, this is exactly the kind of thing I would expect. It's a bit Elton John, just a little bit. I also think that chord progression is like really familiar, so maybe it's not. This song is again a bit repressive, but like, I'm kind of just unconsciously really enjoying it. I don't really know what the context of the song is, but also the orchestration in this is like, ah, shop's kiss. Really nice orchestra work. I do wish though that it was a bit more singing than like spoken. Like I'd like some powerful singing instead of like powerful speech. It's definitely cute. Like I think this would be a really cute like concert song. That like, is such a, such a really high key. Very cute. I would love to hear that in like a concert setting. I think that would be so nice. It's a bit school of rock. Is this Biff? Finally? It's, we, we have villainous chords. That's telling me it is. Wow, I'm really red at this camera. <laughs> when I hear the words teach him a lesson, I'm just thinking of Beetlejuice. Teach him a lesson. He's going to freak when we possess him. I love this guy's voice. It's great. You gotta have the evil laugh if you're an evil character, you know? I mean, I wish this had come earlier, but any villain's a good villain in my opinion. Most of the time. I don't know why, but all the song titles remind me of other songs. Like, one of them's called Only A Matter Of Time. 
because it's only a matter of time. One thing I'm noticing is a lot of these songs don't really seem to progress the story a lot. They're just kind of there, which isn't always a bad thing, but I think it's probably something that I'm noticing. I'm not entirely clear of what the story is just through the songs. Oh, it's Belle. I heard, I heard an opening chord. And I was like, I know that opening chord and it's from Belle, be at least. Radiation poisoning, what? <laughs> I, I stopped listening for a second and then I just heard radiation poisoning and that makes no sense. Because of my weak grasp of the film, the only other female character I can think of is his mother when she's younger and therefore this is a bit strange. At least there's a harmony. You can't go wrong with a bit of harmony in my eyes. I love my harmony. I really do like blues music. And so this like bluesy song is like up my street. I don't know if this is a real song or one that they've like made up, but oh, it's a gorgeous jazzy blues song. Gorgeous. That was great. I enjoyed that. I think I just listened to that as just a regular jazz song, if I'm completely honest. Okay, this song is called Earth Angel. And my immediate first thought was Beauty School Dropout. It's like almost the same chords, almost the same like melody. That's so weird. I don't know if that's done on purpose because I think they go back to like the 50s and obviously Greece is set in the 50s, but like, yeah, don't kiss your mother. Please don't. That is weird. The Wicked Witch is coming. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Punch him, punch him, punch him. Don't show off your flying card, just punch him. Whoever that is, they have a genuine voice of an angel. They sound great. I have no idea what just happened, but this guy's voice is great, so I ain't complaining. Why are you saying you're in love with her? Isn't she not your mother? I am so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, so this one's called Johnny Be Good, and I think this was the one that they performed at the Olivier Awards. There's a lot of prom stuff going on. Is it prom? It's some kind of high school party. But they were really just like, let's make this like an entire massive chunk of this musical. But honestly, I don't blame them because if you're gonna have nice costumes on, at least put them on for a little while. <laughs> Sounds like we're about to start like Flight of the Bumblebee or something. Is this the bit where someone gets electrocuted? That feels like it makes sense. It's called the clock tower. Is that the bit where it gets like struck by lightning and then someone gets electrocuted and then they're able to go back in time or something? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like this instrumental is great. Like it's great. It's very cinematic, but I don't know what's going on. I bet visually this part looks amazing, but from a narrative standpoint, I don't know. This song is a bop and no one can tell me otherwise. Power of love is a curious thing. Don't need money, don't take fame. Don't need a credit card to ride this train. That's the power of love. I love this song. It's very intense. I do wish the doc had more to do like singing wise because they've literally done no singing and whatsoever. The orchestration is very, very good in this so I will say that. I don't know, but for a finale, this feels a bit anticlimactic. Like I get it, but I feel like a finale should be more vocals and less instrumental because your finale is like your big ending moment. So yeah. Now I'm guessing this is just like the bows music. Which is called Back in Time. Which is fun, you know? Nice little guitar and everything. But that is it. That is the end of the show. So, what did I think overall? I think that it's fine. I definitely don't dislike it by any means. But I definitely don't love it. I feel like while I love the orchestrations, orchestrations are usually some of my favourite parts. And this definitely has really strong orchestration. I don't feel like the narrative came across enough through the music. And the reason I say this is because I don't know the film massively well. And most of the time, I didn't know what was going on. And it can work in some capacities. But if you're putting songs in, just put songs in as opposed to them having an actual purpose other than entertainment. I think that's where it needs to, you need to think about it. But I think if you saw it, 
this show would be so so much better than just listening to the soundtrack because i feel like the reason there is so much instrumental is because there's so much visual stuff going on on stage and therefore that could tell you a lot more than just listening to it where there's no cue there's no mental cue there for you but with that said i did enjoy it and everyone on that was very very talented and you know power of love forever guys <laughs> So, thank you for watching this video. You can like it if you like it. You can, you can subscribe if you like it. And maybe there might be some fun stuff coming your way on this channel because I'm maybe going to drama school, guys. Follow me on all my social medias. They'll be just there. And, you know, just keep enjoying musicals as much as me. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.